everyone, this is Emily from Instagram of AG Bridget 4 and today I went to a meetup that Infinity AG held in the American Girl Place Boston, Massachusetts. So I'm going to link down her account below in the description box and also the six other girls that went and two of them were vlogging there on their YouTubes. So I'm also going to link their YouTube account so you can go and subscribe to them and stuff. But I thought I would just do a nice um, opening and reviewing video of the two things I got. There's going to be two separate videos. This one, I'm going to be opening and reviewing Kit's summer dress. And in the next one, I will be opening and reviewing Samantha's parasol. So, I'm just going to step right into it. I first saw this on Instagram, but I wasn't sure if I really liked it that much. But when I saw it in the store today, I just had to get it. So, and for the record, I already opened this just to make sure everything was already inside and stuff before I, like, I left the store, but the whole outfit was $32, but I do definitely think it was worth it. These are the shoes. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be easy or hard to put on yet, but they're definitely really cute and I think they go really nice with the dress. And this is the bow it comes with. It's like a nice lavender color and it's satin and plus it's not just like one ribbon sewn together it's like two so it's really high quality but I'm just not sure about this and how it's going to work well in my doll's hair I might just take this off and put a clip on it or something and here is the dress I think it's really authentic to the 1920s I think this is definitely something that the girls in during the Great Depression would wear the floral prints um, the only thing is, I wasn't sure about this, because this is usually what you would see on Samantha's dresses when she was a historical character, not be forever, because most of her dresses don't have it anymore, but this is definitely something that a lot of her dresses used to have, and it just reminded me of the Edwardian period too much, and like not really the Great Depression, even though I did like it, but I think it's kind of really grown on me, I do think it's wicked cute, and I really like the netting here, I've watched other reviews, and so a lot of people don't like this, but I actually really do. I just guess I have to see what it looks like on the doll. And the same ribbon just ties in the back. It has a nice velcro like all their other clothes. So I think I'm just going to put this on a doll. Most likely I'm going to put it on my 55 because I don't really think it looks that good on blonde hair dolls like Kit. I think it kind of makes them look washed out. So I am going to put this on my 55 and I'm going to do a review on it. Okay, so I'm here with my 55 Freya. And just as a quick side note, I do, after putting this on her, think that it does look better on dark haired and dark skinned dolls. Just cause like on Kit, in my honest opinion, it does like make her look a little washed out in the photos. I'm not sure what it looks like on her in real life but just in the photos I definitely think this is a better choice for if you have Ruthie because I think I don't quote me on this but I do think Ruthie wore this in the movie or something similar I'm not sure but I think maybe this was made for her before they retired her after Be Forever came out I'm not sure but I'm just gonna give you the quick lineup And I want to zoom in on these shoes because they are wicked cute. <laughs> so I really think the dress itself is absolutely stunning. I think it's beautiful. And I just really love this floral print. I think the colors all complement each other really nicely. And another thing that I didn't see in other reviews, people going over was this netting on the ends of the skirts. I think that is just lovely. I think American Girl did an awesome job with that. It's really high quality and it's just going all around the dress and it's just gorgeous. I really like that. And this, which originally reminded me of the Edwardian period, I haven't looked up any dresses that remind me of this from the Great Depression or like where American Girl got their inspiration from. I'm sure there are some out there, but I haven't personally like looked up the stock or anything. However, I do think it's wicked pretty, and I think this would be a great dress on Samantha as well, especially with her dark hair, as I mentioned before. And the netting 
again, on her neck is very beautiful. I'm not sure why so many people kind of stray away from it. Maybe just because her hair, I can see it getting caught with the brush when you're brushing it if you're not careful. And maybe that could cause it to rip. But unless you're like kind of just brushing it all crazy, I, I can't really see it happening too commonly. But otherwise, I think this is a really beautiful dress. I wish more people had this because I would love seeing this more. It's really beautiful. Now, the bow, I am not a huge fan of. Um, it's just the elastic on this. It was. It just made it really difficult to get on her hair. I'm not sure if it's because her hair is fine or it's just too curly. Um, I can see it being put on better with girls that have straighter hair or thicker hair. Um, I don't know. It was just really difficult to put on. It took me a couple tries to get it. Just cut that off, which is what I'm going to do, and maybe slip in a barrette into the tie hair. That's, I would definitely advise to do that because otherwise it is a very lovely bow, and it goes really nice with the dress. I love the satin lavender. I think it's really beautiful. And finally, the shoes, I think, are absolutely adorable. They go really nice with the dress. And a lot of kids' old outfits had shoes like these, so I definitely think they're authentic. Don't quote me on it, though, or anything. I'm not an expert. But I think they go really nice with the dress, all in all. And I think they're really formal, but they can also be casual at the same time with a Truly Me outfit or any outfit from Etsy or something. So I really think they're really versatile, and they're just definitely cute. The only thing is, they were, it did take a couple of times to get on, just because the ends of them are kind of flimsy, but they are with all of American Girl sandals, so I wouldn't have that stray you away from it, or the bow either, because this is a really gorgeous outfit. So I really hope this video answered any questions you had about this outfit, any doubts or concerns prior to watching. If you're planning on getting it or if you didn't even know Kit had it before. Because overall, if I didn't say this enough, it's a very lovely outfit. I think it's just such of high quality that American Girl did with it. I think they did an awesome job with the shoes, the dress, and even the bow. I just think that you should put a barrette through it to make it easier getting on and off the hair. But really, that was my only problem with it. And just... The whole outfit kind of overlooks that. I just think American Girl did an awesome job. It's definitely one of my new favorite outfits. And I totally recommend it for all ages. I really hope you enjoyed my first review. I will be putting up photos of the meetup if you want to watch those towards the end. But right now, this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Bye.